I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage, but I'm losing power on the straights. Right. And you said the acceleration was okay? Hmm. We'll take a look at it. And how are we today, chaps? Everything running smoothly, I hope. Oh, all right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last-minute tweaks. Ah, that's what I like to see. With dedication like that, maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Actually, Aiden, I'm glad I've caught up with you. Uh, I thought you might like to know. I had a call this morning from Toto Wolf. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being watched. So, no pressure then? So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the straights. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah, theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit before the race? Yes, boss. And Casper's reporting no problems? No. OK. Let's do it. Put the Spec 2 in Odin's, would you? Well, that would sort it. I mean, if you're sure. Of course. You could do with a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> Besides, anything for our star driver. Casper, how are you today? Feeling good about the race? Ryan. Hey, I'm glad I've caught you. Listen, don't worry about Casper. Let me stop you there. Brian, Casper's the furthest thing from my mind right now. I've got a race to focus on. Good man. In the garage just now, that was my fault. I know how he can be. What, childish? Self-centered? I'm sick of it, Brian. He's been on my case ever since I joined the team. He needs to grow up. Okay, okay. You just leave Casper to me and get your head in the race. Let's put that new power unit to good use, eh? Sure thing, Brian. See you on the other side. Welcome to Monza, where the crowd are ready for today's action. And we hope you're ready to see the world's best drivers fighting it out for that number one spot. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Here we are then, Monza, the 90th time this event has been held. So a special year for F1 fans, particularly the Italians, who are rightly proud of this event and its heritage. Yeah, it always feels a bit special here, doesn't it, Crofty? Hamilton holds the joint record with Schumacher for number of wins here at five apiece, but could snatch it outright today with a six. Nearly a hundred years of history here, so let's see what this year holds in store for the Italian Grand Prix. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Ackerman, Carlos Sainz, and Kvyat, Norris, Ricardo, Gasly and Alexander Albon, Ocon, Leclerc, Lance Stroll and Butler, Vettel, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen and Aidan Jackson, Giovinazzi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. 
Right, let's see if we can squeeze some performance out of this new power unit. Good luck out there today. Casper should be within reach soon, Aiden. You are free to race. was far too aggressive. Clean passes only. We don't want a penalty. Great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. Nice move. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far.
a new strategy is available on the MFD. the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. We're leading our teammate by 10.8 seconds. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums.
push now. We're boxing this lap. Casper is coming in for a stop. Exit, exit now. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Five laps of fuel remaining.
work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Absolutely fantastic. It's a brilliant result. Well done. Well, well, well. Quite the rivalry forming between the rookie Aidan Jackson and his veteran teammate Casper Ackerman. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of when Hamilton signed from McLaren back in 2007. And we all know how that one ended. Alonso returned to Renault pretty much the moment the season wrapped up. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. It looks like it's time once again to hand out the silverware as these successful drivers make their way to the podium. It was a gritty performance today by Williams and they've got the race win to prove it. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better result today. Congratulations, Aidan. Top spot on the podium. How are you feeling? Well, hopefully now I've proven myself that I deserve to be here in Formula One. I know some people thought that I didn't have it in me, even on my own team. But now I think there's no question. I couldn't be happier. A big talking point, irrespective of today's results, is how you've improved overall throughout the season. What would you say to that? I couldn't do it without the support of the team. They've been incredible. I'm feeling looked after and I couldn't ask for more. So any improvements are thanks to them. It's funny you should mention the team as a whole. Can you give us an update? How is the current relationship between you and Kaspar Ackerman? Look, driver relationships are always going to be tricky. Individually, you're always pushing yourselves, and that can cause friction. I can't let anything like that worry me. Besides, we're fine. Appreciate your time.